Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace. Uh, good to be with you again. On this channel I talk about faith, culture, and media awareness. And today's topic is healthy relationships. And in particular, healthy friendships. And I have a really good book I want to refer to you. It is called The Friendship Project. And I had the opportunity to interview these two ladies, Michelle Faley and Emily Jaminet. Um, they run a big women's conference out of, I want to say, I forget where they run it out of, I think like Columbus, Ohio. I'll have to check that. But they run a big women's conference every year. And I think they just have, they have a second book out that I just got. It's over there on my credenza with all my other books. But... Um, in this book, um, well before I get to the book I just want to talk a little bit about healthy friendships. So um, this was, I don't know how long ago, it was about maybe 15 years or so. I was doing this interview, I, I uh, worked for Channel 8 for about 13 years and I was on a show called Religion in the News. And it was a television show, a 30 minute uh, news show and I um, worked as an associate producer and helped um, really I, I did a Catholic segment primarily but then I also would help write and produce the show and I produced the segment that I did and so whenever I would be on the show I would always have a Catholic guest and my interview would be like maybe five to seven minutes long which is eternity on television but I was so I was I have interviewed so many people, whether either it's for print or for radio or for television. I've like inter interviewed like thousands of people, and one of one of the the ladies that I was interviewing, she was in charge of the bereavement ministry at the archdiocese, but she was a clinical psychologist. And in preparing for the interview, we were just talking about. Um, I can't remember how we even got on this topic, but we were talking about, oh, I think I was telling her about somebody that I knew that was um, dating somebody. And I was just kind of, I was concerned for this person and because I didn't think that the person that my friend was dating was like good for them. And I was kind of explaining the situation to this uh, person who I was gonna interview and she said something that I have never forgotten and it's been so applicable in so many situations like going forward. She said, your relationship, whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship, will never be healthier than the least emotionally healthy person. So think about that for a minute your relationship will never be healthier than the least emotionally healthy person. So you could be completely emotionally healthy, but if someone that you're in a relationship with is, is not emotionally healthy, for whatever, whatever that means in terms of, um, we could go into that, that could be another topic, but so someone who is not emotionally healthy is in a relationship with a person who is emotionally healthy. The relationship will always be brought down to the level of the least emotionally healthy person. So it could never exceed, you know, even if one person's really emotionally healthy and then another person's not emotionally healthy, the relationship will always be can only be this high. I thought that was really telling. And so, you know, throughout my life, as I've had friendships with people, if they are, you know, emotionally unhealthy, then your friendship is not going to be, it can only be as emotionally healthy as they are capable of being. Because you can't really, you know, bring them up to you. They have to bring themselves up, you know, through counseling or whatever. Um, that just was really um, 
instructive to me and that was maybe that was maybe longer longer than 15 years ago but um, but the, but this book really focuses on virtues and really virtues are let's say kindness let's say honesty let's say loyalty um, I wonder if they have all the um, if they have all the um, virtues here so this book is really about having virtuous friendships okay so faith hope charity prudence gratitude loyalty generosity prayerfulness so and what's really neat about this book and I haven't I haven't read the whole thing yet but I'm about halfway through it is they they talk about various female saints and the and the virtue that that the female saint really exuded or exemplified and how we as as Christian women can emulate those saints and how those can help us be a good friend so it's not just about finding good friends but it's also about being a good friend and you really need to be a good friend in order to find good friends so it's 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 kind of um, reciprocal in that in that regard but if you have these virtues and if you work on these virtues you are going to be a good friend and you are going to have a healthy friendship and if you look around I mean it just seems like so much in our culture there's so many people that have been broken um, in their relationships whether it's parent to child friend to friend siblings romantic relationships and all that brokenness really is kind of a result of sin if you think about it that you know somebody wronged whether it was betrayed their trust um, or did harm to them in some way that caused that person to be broken and then until that person gets you know really gets healed they're gonna have a hard time you know trusting and you know being able to have all these virtues so that they can have a good friendship so um, I will give you some more information about this book um, and where you can get it I'll put a link below but I found it to be really just really instructive and enlightening and encouraging I think in terms of um, friends and even though these are female saints these virtues are applicable to anybody and and this book I think would be applicable to men as well as as women so um, anyway I just wanted to give a plug for that book and to encourage you to be a good friend to strive in these various virtues and and so that you can find good friends and have uh, healthy relationships so thanks for watching um, until next time bye bye